Hey, what's going on, good people? Welcome to Russ Can Fly. I am so excited! Okay, so if you look out there, um, I got an interesting email from Leading Edge Aviation. You know, this is an airport that I fly out of, out at Doylestown. And um, I got this email and they were talking about these airport improvements. And you know, they have been talking about this for some time. There's probably some delays or whatever, but now it is finally happening. So as you can see, this is a note that's been put on the door. So when you come in, you'll know exactly what's happening. Um, and you can see the dates of change and stuff. You gotta be flexible. But yet, this is one, this is the note that's on the door as soon as you come in so that you know exactly what's happening at this airport. And I had to come share this with you guys because I had talked about this before. Now, I never got an opportunity to see an airport get improved before, but now it is actually happening. So, if you look right out there, you can see that they're beginning to do a lot of resurfacing on the uh, on the taxiways but definitely on the runway so if you look so let's go this way if you look all the way down there you'll see that the runway is in fact closed there's a big x there's mounds of dirt um and then you see these these scrubber things that they use to like basically pull up all the old um what do you call this you know whatever this road surface is so but and then there's you know plenty of dump trucks to like collect all of this stuff and so if you look down at the other end you also see that there's a big x on that part of the runway too that's runway five and um it is closed and they're resurfacing so in about two weeks or so you're gonna see me take off and you're gonna see this beautiful resurfaced runway it is going to be awesome so i definitely wanted to come out here and show you guys what's happening unfortunately while they're doing this resurfacing project won't be doing any flying out of doylestown for that time period actually all of the airplanes have been restaged in other places so if you look down there, there's only a few aircraft that have not been restaged. So there are people who are still renting. I'm not exactly sure where they took them. I think one of the airports where they've been restaged is Quakertown. Um, but you see there's a couple aircraft there that have not been restaged. And so they're going to just be sitting here until the project is done. And I wanted to come down a little closer to runway five. Again, you can see where that X is in a lot of mounds of dirt. And then of course, these are the aircraft that for whatever reason are not gonna be flying because there's nowhere for them to go. So they will be sitting here for the duration. So I don't fly Sierra Papa that often, the SP. Um, and I don't know what's on the other side of that. That looks like Niner 2789 or, and then they have a twin. So those planes will be sitting for the duration of uh the project and if you look across there is like hangars down there so anyone or any persons who have aircraft in this area so like hangars back there or any of these places all of these aircraft will be sitting until the project is done so i did take the time to come on the other side to see what aircraft were over there and it is um, November 7, 9 or 3, Sierra Papa. And that is November 9 or 2, 7, 8, 9 or. You've seen me fly that aircraft a number of different times. And then, of course, they have a twin over there, November 5, 4, 0, 9 or 7. So don't fly that because I don't fly twins yet. But so those aircraft that are sitting there, they will be sitting here until this project is done. And so, yeah, it's going to be great. And, you know, the one thing that's gonna be kind of interesting is that, you know, I've flown into a number of airports. I mean, it's not like I have like a tremendous amount of experience, but this is gonna be the first time where, kind of like my second home um, airport is gonna have like new runway surface. Um, and again, I'm not exactly sure if they're doing anything with the taxiways, but there's certainly gonna be a lot done to the runway and that's gonna be very awesome. The one thing that I like about that, it is it's gonna help me spot this airport. 
as as you know a lot of times when i come in especially if i'm coming from and i'm going to turn camera from that direction there's usually you know difficulty with me finding the airport and so now with a new surface there's going to be new blacktop and that's going to make finding the runway and finding the airport that much easier and as you can see they are grinding away old runway is coming off and there's going to be new so i probably won't be flying for at least the next couple weeks which kind of sucks but the sacrifice is definitely well worth it because when i do come all of this will be new i think they've already done new lighting um because when i flew in one time the lights definitely looked a little bit better not too sure about that but one thing is sure this runway as you can see is being completely gutted and it will be completely resurfaced and that machine over there is no joke so just real quick if you look at the end that's runway two three you'll see that there is a big x there so those x so that x for my non-pilot friends basically shows that the air that, that the airstrip is closed. So anytime you're flying along and you see that X, that X is a clear indication that the runway is closed. So that is two, three, and the other end is five. And you also, it's kind of more difficult to see because it's further away, but you can see runway five is closed as well. And as you can see, they're basically pulling up a lot of dirt. I don't know exactly what all the big mound of dirt is going on, but you know, there is definitely a lot going on. And again, as I said before, I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. I mean, just wait until you, wait until you see this. This is gonna be absolutely amazing. Now, I'm not exactly sure how long it's gonna take for them to even take this first surface off, but you can see, they do this strip really, really quickly. I mean, it is kind of crazy how hungry that machine looks. And if you ask, well, what happens if you have an aircraft that's hangered at an airport and it's have a major renovation like this? Well, just like with the rental aircraft that's been restaged at some of the other local airports, you can also do that as well. Um, I would imagine that a lot of people probably took them to Quaker Town. I think that's the closest airport to here. Um, some people are probably taking them to any number of different places. Query as to like what happens when you restage, do you get a discount? Um, does the other airport allow you to park your airplane there for like, you know, a discounted rate or maybe, you know, rate for free or whatever, or you pay a pro rata share of what you would normally pay to your home airport that's under construction to another airport. So not exactly sure all the, how that works, but what's clear, any aircraft that's here now won't be going anywhere anytime soon while this project is taking place. And so those are the hangars that I was talking to you about. So there's some on the other side of the airport, but yeah, anybody who has a hangar down there, um, you know, if they haven't relocated the plane, and many people may say, ah, it's just eight to 10 days. I'm just gonna keep my airplane in the hangar. Um, but any of them that are in the hangar, as you can see that truck coming down the runway and the crane in the background, until this project is done, those airplane will just be in the hangar and have a nice nap for 10 days. And so the project is slated to go for eight days, depending on weather. So it actually won't be too long. I think, wow, to think, you know, you've got this, you know, long strip of asphalt. That's what it is um, that you're going to completely take out and completely repave in eight days. That's fairly impressive. So hopefully the weather stays nice where they can just keep grinding it out. I think if it rains and anything like that, that kind of, you know, shoots the project down a little bit or will slow it down. So yeah, so I wanted to show you guys, and I know I keep saying that I'm not gonna do these Wednesday uploads, but I just wanted to show you, I mean, I, how often do you get to see an actual airport repaving project taking place? So I was just like, I have to come out and share this so yeah it's amazing so um so yeah so i definitely just wanted to share this whole thing with you so the next couple times i fly see if you can notice the new 
paved won't we? It's gonna be awesome! And see these women? They are amazing! <laughs> they are awesome! Okay, so that's it. That's what's happening. Um, I definitely wanted to come back into the FBO because it's cooler out there. It is hot. It's 90 degrees and like the humidity is crazy. So I definitely want to come back into the um, FBO to just close this out. But yeah, exciting things happening here at Doylestown. Um, I can't wait to show you what this looks like. It is going to be amazing. So anyway, with that, Russ Kid, Russ Can Fly, I'm out. Peace.